NATO on Monday confirmed that North Korean troops have been sent to Russia to aid in its almost three-year war against Ukraine and that some have already been deployed in Russia's Kursk border region, where Russia has been struggling to push back a Ukrainian incursion. Today, I can confirm that North Korean troops have been sent to Russia, and that North Korean military units have been deployed to the Kursk region, NATO Secretary General Mark Ruta told reporters. Ruta said that the move represents a significant escalation in North Korea's involvement in the conflict and marks a dangerous expansion of Russia's war. His remarks came after a high-level South Korean delegation including top intelligence and military officials as well as senior diplomats briefed the alliance's 32 national ambassadors at NATO headquarters in Brussels. Ruta said NATO is actively consulting within the alliance, with Ukraine, and with our Indo-Pacific partners, on developments and that he is due to talk soon with South Korea's president and Ukraine's defense minister. We continue to monitor the situation closely, he said. Adding thousands of North Korean soldiers to Europe's biggest conflict since World War II will pile more pressure on Ukraine's weary and overstretched army, as well as stoking geopolitical tensions in the Korean Peninsula and the wider Indo-Pacific region, including Japan and Australia, Western officials say. Russian President Vladimir Putin is keen to reshape global power dynamics. He sought to build a counterbalance to Western influence with a summit of BRICS countries, including the leaders of China and India, in Russia last week. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, citing intelligence reports, claimed last Friday that North Korean troops would be on the battlefield within days. He previously said his government has information that some 10,000 troops from North Korea were being ready to join Russian forces fighting against his country. Days before Zelensky spoke, American and South Korean officials said there was evidence North Korea had dispatched troops to Russia. The US said around 3,000 North Korean troops had been deployed to Russia for training. Donald Trump took the stage Sunday night at New York's Madison Square Garden to deliver his campaign's closing argument with the election nine days away. Elon Musk, SpaceX and Tesla CEO, took the stage at Trump's event, in his black MAGA hat. The energy in this room's incredible, the future is going to be amazing, he said. Melania Trump heralded New York City as our hometown and the world's undisputed capital of industry as she took the stage Sunday, a rare appearance by the former first lady, who has been largely absent on the campaign trail. It was her first speech of the campaign. Gothic MAGA. Well, it's the energy in this room is incredible. What a, what a what a great group of people. It's, All right, it's, I've only got one question for okay. you, and then I'm getting out of here because this right. is your stage. But we set up Doge. Yes. How much do we, you think we can rip out of this wasted? 6.5 trillion dollar Harris Biden budget. Well, I, I think we, we can do at least two trillion. Yeah. Uh, yes. Two trillion. I mean, at the end of the day, you're being taxed. You're being taxed. All government spending is taxation. So whether it's it's direct taxation or all government spending, it's either it either becomes inflation or it's it's direct taxation. Your money is being wasted. And the Department of Government Efficiency is going to fix that. We're going to get the government off your back and out of your pocketbook. And Amer America is just not, not gonna, just going to be great. America is going to reach heights that it has never seen before. The future is going to be amazing.
hometown, where architectural symbols of strength, courage, and unity create a canvas for the world's undisputed capital of industry. And now, please welcome our next Commander-in-Chief, my husband, President Donald J. Trump. Firefighters in Peshawar on Sunday finally brought a fire under control that destroyed a factory, after battling the flames for more than 20 hours. According to local media, the fire broke out overnight due to a short circuit in the facility that produces tissues and diapers. The operation involved 20 vehicles and over 100 personnel from multiple districts. There were no reports of injuries or victims but locals said that more than 1,000 employees that make their living from the factory will be affected. Authorities said that an inquiry into the incident has been opened. The fire was fueled by chemical products used in the factory, local media reported. موسیقی रेस्क्यू मौजूद दे बंदूली ने शी कोशिश डेर जात कोशिश है पियो को को और ता चांट इस निश्चित है मर क्यों आगर जानी नुकसान पकेने शब्द को मारी नुकसान पके डेर जात तो शोध जा दे टेंपरो दिखो दे बल गिलासून और दबोर टेंपरो तो वो करखाने द पोश नुकसान पके डेर जात तो शोको और लगे इनका इनकान Oh, this is fantastic. Now we're just going to laugh at you.